the most evil Iron Man ever. On Earth 42777, Tony Stark became Iron Man, as he often does across the multiverse. However, this version of Iron Man was a far crueler figure than most versions. He was a ruthless genius who hid his ambitions to rule the world behind a veneer of philanthropy. He committed his first known murder at the age of 14, when he killed his own father. Years later, when the world was torn apart by a conflict between mutant kind and humanity, Tony saw his chance. He secretly funded Magneto and his worldwide army of mutants, with Magneto promising that Tony would rule what remained of humanity when the war was over. This war caused the deaths of Captain America and many other superheroes, clearing the field of any internal threats to Stark. However, Tony then turned on Magneto and murdered him on live television, which made Tony a hero in the eyes of the world. As soon as the war ended, Tony developed a new strain of mad cow disease and fungi that wiped out most of the food sources across the world. Millions died until Tony eventually revealed his cure for the disease, which helped his fame grow further, and he soon won the presidency of the United States of America. Next, Tony built devices that caused natural disasters around the world, forcing the nations of the world to turn to him, paving the way for him to become Emperor Stark. One of the few who evaded Stark's direct control was Victor Von Doom, the monarch of Latveria, but eventually the two entered a secret alliance, with Doom agreeing to assassinate the remnants of the American justice system, leaving room for Tony to take complete control of the country. Doom delivered on this deal, but he also betrayed Tony and tried to claim his power for himself. Although Tony had his face seriously burned in the battle, he was able to overwhelm Doom and kill him, taking his distinct green cloak as a trophy after the fact. By this point, the only people Tony did not rule over on the planet were the Inhumans, led by King Black Bolt and Susan Storm. Tony coveted the secrets of the Inhumans, hoping to use them as an army that would allow him to conquer the stars. He searched for the hidden city of Adalon, eventually discovering it when the Inhumans' cloaking technology was temporarily disrupted by repairs. Unable to pierce the city's shields, Tony was surprised by a visit from Weapon X, a multiversal group of exiles forced to travel the multiverse in order to repair damaged realities, who revealed that their mission is to help Tony jumpstart his conflict with the Inhumans. They also revealed that the only key to the barrier rests with Wonder Man, leading the team to attack him and use a miniature portal to the negative zone to trap him. Claiming the key, Weapon X agrees to be the vanguard in the attack on the Inhumans. Meanwhile, Tony assembles many of the last remaining superpowered beings, including Thing, Ghost Rider, Daredevil, Spider-Man, and Strong Guy, who've become mercenaries in these dark times. In the ensuing battle, the Inhumans' defense quickly falls, and Black Bolt unleashes his most devastating scream possible choosing to destroy the city, along with all of its inhabitants, to prevent their secrets from falling into the hands of Stark. In his presidential rose garden, Tony bemoans the loss of the Inhumans and their potential, unaware that the Invisible Woman was able to save some members of the species. However, instead of going into hiding with them, Sue decides to gain revenge for the deaths Tony caused by using her powers to sneak up on Tony and kill him with a knife through the throat. Sue was also killed by his security, but with Tony bloodily removed from power, the world can adjust. In the end, it was revealed that Tony's fall was secretly the true mission weapon X had been on.